Well, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. Hope you guys are all doing well. Last week, I don't think I remember to mention this, but I think last week was like the beginning of anniversary and this week is kind of the second week of anniversary. And boy did a lot of things come to EN. It also makes the Fukumaru deals make a lot more sense why they've had the 60k here because this was kind of like the anniversary special. And not only that, it lasts two weeks. I don't actually plan on uh, getting anything here though because I don't actually need anything from the 30k and I don't have enough coupons for the 60k. But besides that, we actually got a ton of new things this week at Ian. They went like all out. So we got three new ninjas, a new cloth. They also have 3v3 and some more free stuff from different events. So let's go take a look at first what they added. Orochimaru GNW. Orochimaru just came out. Like they just came out in CN last week, I think it was. So this is probably the shortest amount of time between a CN release and when Ian gets it. I think a pain might have been similar though. But the point being is they came out with them real soon, so we're like very close to seeing now. We're just missing some breakthroughs. I think we have every single ninja that they have. Maybe a couple that are missing, like the seasonal ones, but speaking of ninjas that they added, we also got Obito in Rage Mode in Shinobi Feast. I'm actually not entirely sure what's in this anniversary clothing pack, but I assume it might be the new clothing so they actually came out with this new cyberpunk clothing it looks really nice actually i think it gives like 300 resistance and like 200 initiative there's this one here this is uh water mains but i'll put up a little preview of all the other mains as well so like they look pretty nice lightning main looks pretty dang clean as well and then not only did they add two new ninjas and a new battle armor, they added a third ninja shizune moon fairy into firework festival She's not actually that good, but she's still kind of cool to have. And also, I mean, it's a free ninja, so can't complain. I do really like the appearance though, so I'll probably use like her transform sometime. I don't have her quite yet. We should get her in a couple. Oh, never mind. We have her already. <laughs> I didn't actually expect to have her so soon. I didn't know she had a two-star form. But yeah, take a look at this transform. It is pretty sweet. Look at that. Really nice looking transform there. And then along with that, they also put in like arena 3v3s and they changed some of the events around. But we'll get to that in a little bit later. First off, we're actually going to talk about CN because CN did like a whole balance patch thing. They did a bunch of changes to the old, some old ninjas, made them better, did some main changes as well. So let's go ahead and actually check them out here. I think I'll do some kind of like slideshow thing. I don't entirely know how I'm going to display all of them. I won't go over every single one because there's actually a ton of ninja skill changes, but I'll just show them. So like we have Kotetsu here, a couple changes there, nothing significant. I, Third Right Kage got a couple changes. Um, so the two that were actually major whenever I first saw this was Ginkaku and Kinkaku. They had some crazy skill sets like Ginkaku, he gets the Obito um, GNW skill where he can teleport out a unit of a field. Just instead of for two rounds, it's one round, which is actually kind of cracked there. And then also, they have this crazy passive two. So this passive two is both on Ginkaku and Ginkaku. So like it was whenever at the beginning of every round, if there's a defeated Ginkaku in your field, it would revive him. And then the Ginkaku's passive two is if there's a defeated Ginkaku, it would revive the Ginkaku. It was actually super cool. But then they removed it later, which is kind of sad because I was looking forward to that. Kind of understandable though, because that was an insanely like broken skill set if you could get that. I do hope they maybe like change it, maybe nerf it a little bit, but then add it back because that looks a lot of fun to play with there. And then we also got Obito Enraged, just some minor changes. So now it ignores Taunt and some passive changes. So for our Lightning Main, the passive 1 4 is for every 10 trucker used by ninjas in your lineup it will increase that ninja's attack and critical rate by three percent two percent and this just makes it so that now midnight blade can actually scale the entire team which is pretty nice actually a really nice thing to have azur fang they got a little buff to their mystery three i actually kind of like this because before her mystery three the healing mystery i don't have it selected right now the healing mystery it's basically the same thing as fire main's mystery just slightly different fire main gives a shield doesn't heal but water mains heals doesn't give a shield but they both clear debuffs and make them immune to debuffs so this is a little nice to see 
but basically it just makes it so that whenever the units are hit in that round they will recover 1% HP. It's not a huge amount, but I expect them to probably buff this in the future to like maybe 3 or 5%. That would actually make this uh, mystery kind of useful to use and like have some viability. For Scarlet Blaze, they changed around how Unparallel works, so they keep the debuff immunity and cancels all debuffs, but instead of just scaling Scarlet Blaze now, it makes it so that they have the same thing as like Lightning Mains where it can now scale the entire lineup. So after Scarlet Blaze's first action of the round, ninjas in your lineup will have their ninjutsu increase by 4% stackable whenever they cause ninjutsu damage. Pretty nice to see, but I think the main issue is is just that Scarlet Blaze has to do an action first, which might make it not super viable. And then Crimson Fist, he got a little bit of an increase for his mystery, bumped it up from 7 hits to 9 hits for his mystery 2, and then for his mystery 4, his shield mystery, makes it so that anyone attacking the units affected by the skill in that round will have their attack decreased by 4%. I don't know if this is a permanent like decrease of 4%. That could be really strong if it's actually a permanent decrease of 4%, but if it's just for that round it would be kind of meh. I assume it's permanent though. I think people might have to do a little bit more testing. Breeze Dance actually got a crazy buff to their standard too. So now, um, before she summoned like 1-3 to three clones, that stayed the same, but now these clones are ultimate shadow clones, and the ultimate shadow clones can use ultimate taijutsu attack, which I think is very similar, but this is the crazy part. Whenever they attack, they have a high chance of causing 3 combo low flow and increasing 8% attack or ninjutsu to all your units in your lineup. That is really strong if you can pull that off, because you can have a ton of scaling just from your clones attacking. And I don't know, this might make like Windmaid super powerful in Zenith, we'll have to see. But she's already really strong in Zenith, this just makes her even stronger. Like if anything, Firemaid got like a nerf to their Zenith ability, just because they don't get like 20% scaling per like Unparalleled now, they just get 4% or whatever. But Breeze Dancer gets like way more scaling now. They also had another change to their passive 2-3, and it actually makes it really, really strong now. Which is that before the first action every round, cancel those all buffs and shields while causing blindness and enfeeble to up to two male units in the opponent's field. I believe before it was only one unit? I'm not too sure if there's a typo because I'm pretty sure it's just one unit before. Uh, but it also adds enfeeble now. And then for the 2-4, Breeze Dance executes a chase attack, recovers 15 chakra, but whenever Breeze Dancer deals critical damage, all your units in your lineup can't be defeated by chase attacks until the end of the next round. And so this makes it so instead of it's just Breeze Dancer who is immune, it's the entire lineup that's immune to chase attacks. That's actually really, really strong and could be really good. And so yeah, I guess it's kind of nice to see the scenes doing a little bit more changing, balancing out things. I'd like to see this, like the Ginkaku and Ginkaku thing, they made like more viability to old ninjas. That'd be nice to see in some more ninjas in the future. And then also real quickly before we move away from Sia news, they also added a new assist card, Kimi Maru, and it makes it so that the first chase attack received each round will be now be reduced by 2% up to a maximum of 20% at level 8. Honestly, it's not very useful, but I think it'll just be nice to have for like training potions and things. Now let's actually take a look at the events. There's quite a lot of free things that they gave out, so like first of all we got Shinobi Feast, lots of nice things here. Amusement Park still going on, Time Limited Digit Shop with uh, Hinata Bride in here. Fireworks, so we talked a little bit about this. I know they put um, Chika Shoto in here, so Chika Shoto mails and fireworks, so pretty nice to get him in here. I don't think I'm gonna get him maybe in the future, but that's not very high on my priority list, so I'll just stick with some training potions for now. They also gave out missions, which honestly, missions have been kind of lame recently. They've had prosperous times in so many events, and to be fair, I don't have it yet, but it's like been the only clothing that you can get from these events for a while, and also the ninjas in here aren't too appealing. Like These guys are pretty old, and then like they've put a ton of Sage Kabuto recently. Zabuza's the only one they haven't really pushed out, but he kind of sucks, so yeah, I guess I'll just be grabbing more of these fragments in here. Lucky Stars as well is out, so they put Obito, Tentails, Jinchuriki in here. I'm not actually very sure how many people get these ninjas. I feel like 
only really worthwhile thing in this event is just the powerful item pack in there for the trading potions. Uh, but along with that we got Refined Rebate, Miyoboku Trial, which they actually put the original Shisui in here. We haven't seen the original Shisui in such a long time, so if you need him, this is the event to get him in. And I don't think you're going to see him for a while, so you better pick him up here. Uh, really nice though, I mean, I personally am, don't need him, but I feel like this is a really good event for a lot of people, because Shisui isn't that good, but he's really useful for especially like beginning, like mid to beginning teams. And then last but not least, we have Kodaka Great Tree in here. They've got a bunch of new ninjas in here. So we got like Kuronaiki Mono, Hiruzen Hokage Successor, Toby Rama New Year as well. And they got like some training potions. I think one thing that they did add was on the level 7. Uh, was that always there? I don't remember if he was always there. I don't think he was. But they added like new fragment ninjas. So like GNW's in there. Chika Shoto, here's his successors in level 6. And then. This is the one that they added. Oh, we tell Tentails Jinchuriki, the level 7 here. And then not only that, we also got Arena 3v3, which gives us Mabui Taisha period. We already have her. Honestly, they probably could have picked a better ninja for this, but I mean, we'll also take it for some free 3v3 packs in here. Lots of, uh, and lots of uh, Moon Scrolls as well, so very nice event to have. I thought I should also mention this, but if you guys want to win some free coupons, by the way, the people on the Naruto Online forums, they're actually hosting a competition for like, um, what was it, making like a poster for the fifth year anniversary. So if you guys want to win some free coupons, I'll put that in the description below so that you guys can check that out. I probably might give that a try as well, give my thumbnail making skills a little bit of a test. Uh, but speaking about thumbnails, sorry for not uploading anything as much this past week. One of the games that I played got a pretty huge update, so I kind of grinded that for like two or three days and then forgot to upload some stuff. But all the videos are recorded, I just have to record the intro and outro for that and then they'll be done. So expect a couple more videos coming out this week. Anyways though, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.